What's up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to be working on my 1982 Honda ATC 185S. I bought this trike a few months back and one of the reasons I bought it was this really nice looking fuel tank. This is original paint, original graphics, nice gas cap, even has the original warning labels on the top of the tank. It does have this dent in the top of the tank. And unfortunately, after I got this running, I did find that it does have uh, a pinhole leak in the bottom of the gas tank that I couldn't see when I bought it. Uh, so we'll address that issue at a later time. But right now, uh, today we're gonna focus on this dent here. So uh, we're gonna try something that I've never done before. We're gonna try some paintless dent repair uh, using uh, glue sticks. Uh, so I'll show you the products that we're gonna give a try today. These are the paintless dent repair glue sticks that we're gonna be trying today. Uh, there's three different ones and they provide three different levels of hold. Uh, this is uh, kind of your regular hold, uh, lowest adhesive glue stick. Uh, then next here, we have a medium hold and the black glue sticks uh, are stronghold. Um, so pretty easy, we'll try to just uh, heat up the end of the glue stick with a lighter and then stick the glue stick uh, onto the dent and give a tug. Uh, first, we're gonna prep the surface uh, with this product. It's uh, from Gion and this is a grease and oil remover. Uh, so we'll prep the surface with this just to make sure that the glue stick uh, can get a good hold. Let's see how it goes. First, we're gonna prep the surface here, make sure it's good and clean, free of any grease or oil, so that the glue sticks can get a good hold. Next, we're gonna start with one of the medium paintless dent repair glue sticks. All we're gonna do is take a lighter melt the end of the glue stick and stick it to the tank. We can also try using our uh, black glue sticks, a stronger hold. See what happens now. Not much hold at all. Actually, we'll try a little bit of paint thinner. We're gonna go ahead and move up to the strong glue sticks as well. See if that holds any better. I'll try those two and see what happens. Here a little better, but not enough to move the not enough to move the tank for sure. Okay, what we tried now is using a little bit more glue at the glue sticks, and also heating up the metal here just a little bit with uh, our heat gun, just to make it a little bit more malleable and uh, flexible. Okay, don't want to get that too warm because we don't want our glue to get soft again. But we're adhered pretty good, so I'm gonna give it a pull and see what happens. Okay, uh, I think we actually made some progress there uh, with that pull. Um, yeah, we definitely, uh, definitely got some of that to pull out. So uh, we're gonna continue to work down this dent here 
um, and see how it goes, kind of repeating that, the, that process. Tried removing the fuel cap here to do a couple pulls just to make sure that it wasn't creating any type of a seal uh, that was fighting against the dent uh, coming out. It doesn't seem to be, but figured I'd remove it just in case. Uh, something else that I'm noticing is you get better adherence to the tank the quicker you put the, the melted glue stick onto the metal. Um, so put it on. Um, Kind of as quick as you can uh, let it set up give it a minute to set up before moving on to the next one also wanted to point out some of these spots where there was little chips of paint uh, this process is making that a little bit worse um, but I think it's worth it if we can make some progress on getting the dent out of this tank. Not sure how much you can tell on camera, but we're definitely making progress here. Uh, I know the dent is still pretty evident uh, with the reflection of the light in the camera there, um, but it's much, much less deep. We are making progress here. A few things I've learned is to Heat the glue up pretty hot and stick it to the tank shortly after applying the heat. And also, I'm having better luck sticking to doing this one at a time. Don't get in a hurry with this. Keep your glue sticks pretty close together too. Um, kind of, I, I think it's helping to focus the pooling um, when we pop the glue sticks off. I'm trying to keep these in somewhat of a linear formation as we progress as well. Also, I'm having better luck when I balance keeping a little bit of heat in the tank, but also letting the glue fully, fully set up. Um, you want, to, you want that, that glue to be pretty hard before you go ahead and pull it. Don't need a lot of heat, just, just enough to keep the metal flexible. Also a safety note, just in case you were wondering, this tank is completely empty of fuel, so there's no vapors or anything um, that I'm working around here with the heat gun and open flame um, with the lighter to melt the glue sticks. You can probably tell as uh, the video has progressed a little bit here, I have uh, kind of modified my technique a little bit as we go here. Okay. That one made quite the difference. You can kind of tell that this was a, a linear dent and when attaching the glue sticks, I think it's best to work on one side or the other of, of that linear area you don't want to put a glue stick right down in the in the valley uh, of the of the dent um, i'm having better luck working on one side or the other
Still a little bit of heat left there, so it's gonna let these set up and pull. This area right here is definitely the deepest part of the dent. I'm gonna try to work over here a little bit more and uh, we'll try to work in this area a little bit. Not making a lot of headway here. Being right on this ridge of this tank, this is, this is pretty tough metal here. Uh, this is gonna be tough to move, um, but looking so much better. Um, we'll give you a little bit of a different camera angle here uh, at the end, um, but this is, this is so much better, so um, going pretty good. Here's our final product. Looks much better than it did. We were able to get a lot of the dent out of there. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better than it was. Depending on how the lights hit it here, you can still see some of the dent, especially over in this area. This is tough in here along where the ridge in the tank is. This is really strong here, so it was really tough to get much movement there. Um, but I think this looks a lot better. Let me know how you think I did in the comments. If you have experience with paintless dent repair, feel free to leave some pointers in the comments as well. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you could click like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot.